hey, 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 my beautiful people. How are you doing? Buenas noches. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. 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 Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are. It is May 3rd and it is 1021 in the evening. And I'm outside right now. As per usual when I'm trying to do any content, since I can't really do it inside if everybody's up or which they're always pretty much up or trying to get ready for something. But um, I just wanted to do another late night dumping session. I um, wanted to talk about the fact that I am still trying to get a nurse. So for almost two years now, has it been two years or has it been a year? I think it's been a year. For almost a year or a little bit over a year, I've been trying to get a nurse to come to where we live so they can help with maintaining the household clean, cooking a couple of meals, and just alleviating the pressure off of my daughter. So that, I'm sorry, somebody was coming out the door. And it's my daughter. But, um... I've I've been trying to get, you know, a nurse to come. So my previous DSS worker, who was supposed to be the one to put in the request, never, ever, ever acknowledged every time I requested the help. I even had my mental health skill builder, which is the person that helps you accomplish your goals and things like that when you have mental illness. Um, I even had her trying to help me, and she wasn't even calling her back either. So because we relocated cities, my case got transferred over to the other city. And now I just had my evaluation today. But listen, listen to this part. Like, to me, this was just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I I don't know nothing about this. Let's just put it like this. I don't know nothing about this. So maybe I'm just probably looking at this wrong or maybe I'm thinking about it wrong or whatever the case may be. But when they were told, told me that I had to do an assessment, I'm thinking they were going to want to watch me, see what I can and can't do on my own, see me, you know, attempt to do things or see what we could or couldn't do. And, you know what I'm saying, things like that. Mm-mm. That's not what it was. Basically, the same questions I was asked on the phone in order to make the appointment were the same questions that I was asked again in person. And then, you know, a couple of here, like, what do I need help with? Like, taking a shower, getting dressed, cooking meals, cleaning up, things like that. But I didn't have to, like, show anything. And then all based off my answers and off of whatever my doctors might say would be if I get approved or not. Now, if I do get approved, I can have my daughter get paid for taking care of me. Or I can get an agency to bring somebody in. (coughs) 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 Bring somebody in to help. Sorry. Now, it takes about five weeks, between four to five weeks for you to get an answer. So I'm not going to know anytime soon if this help is going to be available or not. And then I'm still trying to figure out when are we moving, how are we moving, and where we're moving to. Because it's clearly that it's time for us to relocate out of this state. The state that we're in right now, it then took almost five years just to get help. And, um, to me, that's not okay. Like, it really isn't. Being back home, I barely saw homeless people. I knew they existed. 
but you didn't see them like that. You only saw them in certain areas. Down here, where we are, you see them everywhere. You see them everywhere. Their shelters are overpacked. <coughs> there isn't much help. It's like word of mouth. You got to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody in order for you to get some type of help. Um, I don't know, you guys. I'm trying to get my life figured out here. The stress of trying to find clients, the stress of needing the income, the stress of being in one room, the stress of not having the space. I want to create my press-on nails and I don't have the space to do so. And it's like, it's so overwhelming and frustrating because I have all these ideas and all these things I want to do so I can try to get income so I can do right by my children and do right by my family. And it's hard. It's hard to do. It's really hard to do. go back to working from home, I need proper internet. I know I can get income that way. I know I can bring in what we need and we wouldn't need for anything, but I have to have a better place to live. I have to have a better place to live in order to do that. I'm not used to this struggle and it's, it's getting old. It's It's getting old. Like, it's getting old. I went and got certified as a life coach. Like, trying to find clients has not been easy. Trying to get people to even sign up for a free session. A free session. A free session where you can dump out your problems and your goals and all this and we can find solutions and ways for you to move forward. Even if you decide to sign up or don't decide to sign up, you'll still have game plans that'll help you out with your goals. steps that you'll need to take in order to accomplish them. You don't lose out on anything by taking me up on that free offer. I mean, what's the least that you do that can happen? What's the worst that could happen? You learn something about yourself. <coughs> you realize something about yourself. You notice something about yourself. Like, what, you grow? Literally, what's the worst that can happen? Like, for real. People act like I'm asking for their whole life. And then I got my son being bullied at school. <coughs> now, the way that I want to handle it is not the correct way to handle it. I want to go in there and I just want to knock every kid out. I know I can't do that. It's not the proper thing to do. So, I'm trying to figure out ways to handle that situation, too, because he's getting tired of them talking about him, and then they're in a group chat talking about him as well. And then he's getting bullied in the group chat also, and it's like, it's just frustrating and overwhelming. And then he's got proof of screenshots on his phone to show that they are bullying him. But because the school allows no phone and they have a no phone policy, he's claiming that they won't even bother to look at the phone to look at the proof. Okay, well then, I want their email address and I'll email it to them. I'll email it to them. They can look at it that way. But why are we ignoring the fact that we're having a bullying problem? Why are we ignoring the fact that these kids are coming from my childhood? (laughs) 
Like, that's not okay. So it's just a lot on the plate, and it's a lot on the dome, and it's overwhelming and frustrating and irritating, which is why I'm creating another podcast to dump out what's on my mind and let go of what's nagging and bothering me. And I want to say thank you to everyone that's taking the time to listen to my podcast. I appreciate you guys. I love when I get to go into my podcast and I see that I have more than just two or three plays on my episode. It makes me feel like, wow, people do care. You know, they are listening. I'm not talking just to talk. I'm not pouring out my guts. I'm not doing all this for no reason. People are actually out there listening. And I hope that y'all are learning from my situation. Or find it solely soulless because your situation isn't as bad as mine or realizing that it could be worse. Then at least my platform isn't in vain. Sorry, y'all, I'm partaking of my medicine. I need to try to eat dinner and I'm actually not hungry. So I'm doing some herbal medication so it can give me a little appetite so I can try to eat something so I can take my pills because if I take my pills on an empty stomach I will throw it up I didn't know that one of the side effects of Latuda is nausea so before I take the Latuda I have to eat and then I got a 30 minute pill I got to take before that Latuda that's a nausea pill so that I don't bring it back up because I won't I won't get to digest it I'll literally bring it back up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and it's annoying. It's just annoying. So I have to try to eat something. I'm just more tired than anything. Like, I feel exhausted. Today... The appointment wasn't long, but it was a lot of questions and low key, I suck with questions. I don't know, I want you guys to ask me questions. I'm asking for y'all to ask me questions because I want to interact with you guys, but when I have to answer questions about like, stuff for appointments it's annoying because I'm repeating the same thing over and over again on my platforms I repeat but it's different I'm repeating for educational purposes I'm repeating for support purposes I'm repeating for knowledge I'm repeating for many different reasons I don't repeat just to repeat like I hate that. It's redundant. It's pointless. Oh, Biba's out here with me, you guys. Say hi. Hi. Sorry, I forgot to say that. I think I did say it, though, when I said, sorry, somebody came out the door and it's my daughter. (laughs) But I forgot to tell her to say hi to y'all. My bad. Biba's doing better. We walked to the gas station and we walked back and she was fine. So she's finally gotten her strength back, her balance back. And I'm still watching her just to make sure that, you know, we don't overwork her. And we're still trying to get Delano Booger to help more. And he's doing he's doing better. I mean, with the ODD... It's kind of difficult, but he's working on it, and he's trying really hard. And honestly, I feel like that's all that matters. Like, I even gave him a reward, a gift card for Roblox for just the the amount of change he's done. Especially with trying to... Um, wait, they opened their trunk, and I don't think they realized it.
Oh, now she know this. How you turn your car on and accidentally open your trunk? Sorry, y'all, I got sidetracked. I feel like I need to do a treatment, man, an asthma treatment. I feel like I might need to do an asthma treatment because I got a lot of mucus on my chest. A lot of mucus on my chest. But anyways, you guys, I didn't really want much of anything. I just wanted to empty out my thoughts, try to process my day. Hopefully I can get this nurse pray for me, you guys. Put us in y'all prayers that we can hopefully get this nurse so it can help my daughter help us. I don't know. We need prayers regardless because it gets overwhelming. It gets very overwhelming. No matter how much you try to stay positive, sometimes it just becomes a little difficult. And then because I'm always trying to motivate and be positive for other people, I feel like I be drying my meter out even more. But I'm about to go back inside, see if I can eat. And I know my kid's trying to go to sleep, so I can't do the podcast while I'm in there. Thank you so much for listening this far. Don't forget to send any questions or comments. And I really do appreciate you guys. Big time. We all do. Love y'all. Bye.